Hey, I'm Katie Price and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now before we start, I'd just like to give a big shout out to all you people who've subscribed to my channel so far. I've literally got to 60,000 subscribers so far. So I've nearly hit the 100,000 mark and then I'll get a nice plaque to put on my wall, which I will show you. So thank you, keep the subscribing going. Tell your friends, families, how bonkers I am and how you need to subscribe to watch the madness about myself. In today's video, I'm going to be answering questions all about my love life, dating, what I like in men, and uh, well, yeah, we'll just see how the questions go. But yeah, this would be interesting because I bet there's some things you don't know about me. For example, what I like in a man, and uh, well, yeah, you'll see. I'll see if you tick the boxes. If you do, swing my way. Does size matter? Now, are we talking about hand size, foot size, the third leg size, tongue size? Well, normally, I would say, no, not really. Size doesn't matter, because I believe it's in the chemistry. And if you can come together, then that's a bonus. Do I have any celebrity crushes? Of course, there's a few out there. Actually, I'm not gonna say, because it would be a headline. Actually, I can name, I'll name five. When I say celebrity crushes, I mean, Everyone's got someone they like, so I've always liked Matt Damon, Leonardo DiCaprio, Jamie Redknapp's assault, Jack Wiltshire, no not Jack Wiltshire, what's the, the comedian name? I can't remember his name, so I can't remember, fancy him that much. Um, yeah, there's quite a few fitties out there actually, but I can't say more because I'll get myself into trouble. I find it so hard to trust anyone. You know, there was a time I was with someone for three weeks and they managed to do this whole story on me, this whole make-believe story on me in three weeks. I mean, please, I find it so hard to trust anyone. Because number one, I don't know if they're with me for money. Number two, I don't know if they want me for fame, which is normally what they want. And number three, if I actually went on a dating site and said I'm a mother of five and I've been married three times, no one would even bother ticking the box. So realistically, you tell me how I can find someone who's real and who I can trust. Because there's always something they're after. What do I look for in a man? Jesus, where do I start? Well, everything I seem to think that I want in a man seems to just not end on a good thing, does it? Because I'm still here, still single, still waiting, still looking for that man. But what I do want is someone honest, reliable, consistency. Do they have to be good looking? Um, looks does help, because I don't particularly want to put a pillow over their head. Consistency, honesty, loyalty. Oh. And they have to be able to buy me dinner or lunch because I'm sick to death of having to pay for everything all the time. A major turn on for me with dating a guy, smell. Oh my God, they have to smell gorgeous. I'm so into my smells. Hygiene, look clean. Uh, maybe someone who can whisk me away on a weekend. I'm only saying this stuff because this has never happened and this is what I want. Oh, manners, sense of humor someone who can really make me laugh, someone who's happy to sit at home and chill, watch Netflix, have a takeaway, to then going out to a nice restaurant or even going camping. I need someone very versatile and impulsive like myself. Major turn-offs for me is when someone eats like this. They fart all the time, they smell, just don't you know, like smell, although I, I do like BO, there's a kind of BO smell I like, like if they're not consistent, you know, if they're gonna text and make you wait all day, they get lost, because I haven't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, someone who's not honest, someone who wants to go out with their mates all the time and not see me, someone who doesn't put me first. Yeah, basically, I wanna be someone's companion. And I don't really like it if anyone smokes, because I don't wanna kiss no ashtray. The strangest place I've ever had sex. But it's not that it's the strangest, I suppose it's what I've done in different situations. Like once, I was in my cinema room and there was loads of us in there and me and my partner at the time went to the cover, just slowly having sex quite, knowing that everyone were all in the room like watching TV. Or it could have been where I was, drove up to um, a place called the Devil's Dyke, near where I live, naked, all of us in the car, we all got out and sex. I don't know, in my stables, in the Maldives, you know, you have these tracks and where you hide in the bushes and watch people go past and you have sex. I mean, I don't know if they're strange places, but I suppose I'm just spontaneous. Another time I took my 4x4 in my fields, just for the sake of it, and just had sex on the bonnet. 
it's not that it's strange, it's just you don't always have to have a bed. Bed for me is for sleeping. Sex can be done anywhere. I often date younger men because they're full of energy, full of beans, and they normally take care of themselves. I mean, I don't, I haven't really been with anyone older, but I suppose the conversation would be better, but I need someone with a bit of go in them. And I don't know, and I think younger guys are sometimes better looking on the eye. That's bad, isn't it? But maybe that's where I'm going wrong. Maybe I do need an older gentleman to take care of me. There you go, don't knock it till you've tried it. What I would have told my younger self about dating, don't follow your heart, follow your head. Unfortunately, I still follow my heart. Even when I know something's potentially not right and I know it's not right, and my heart wants it, I just go for it, and that's what gets me into trouble. So maybe I should sit back, analyze the situation, because it always ends in tears. And also, I don't really think I'm a typical 41 year old. I think that's why I go for younger guys, because I'm quite, still got a spring in my step, should they say. Um, sometimes I'm a lot more immature than the younger guys I go out with. Although I can adapt, I can be mature, very ladylike, very business-like when I need to, but then I've got this side where I can just mix with the youngsters. My hardest breakup I ever went through was with Dane Bowers. My heart was literally in bits. And everyone always thinks my hardest breakup was Pete. It wasn't that it was a hard breakup with Pete, it's just what came with it with Pete, which was hard. But definitely Dane broke my heart, like, literally. I lost my virginity when, on my 16th birthday to a guy who's 25 years old. Um, I was with him for about a year, so I didn't do anything with him until I was 16. And that's it, yeah, and I was, yeah, I was with him about two years, but it all ended in tears. He was very possessive, jealous, beat me up, cut my clothes up, and it was just a disaster. I would love to settle down if I find the right person. Like, what people have got to remember, is you can't change a person. Nobody can change me as a person. You can't change anyone as a person. Why would you want to change anyone as a person? So in a relationship, we all know that no one's perfect. So if you want to make a relationship last, I believe if you want to adapt to make that relationship work, then you'll adapt. But no one's going to say to me, you have to be like this, this, this for it to work. No. If I want to change or adapt to be like that, then I will. But as soon as someone starts telling me you can't do this and that, then game's over then I'll just start looking around and getting attention somewhere else but I think many people are like that I get lots of strange DMs on Instagram so many people are fascinated with my feet that I get a lot of people who just want to like you know shovel on my feet my perfect dates Jesus I still analyze this question all the time so a perfect date would actually be for someone to pick me up because I'm banned from driving for one. So yeah, it'd be handy if the guy drives. So yeah, my perfect date would be someone who can drive. We either stay in, get a takeaway, a nice bottle of wine or something, and watch TV. Or go to a nice restaurant, have a couple of glasses of wine, and just talk bull all night, and that's it, because no one's getting any further than that with me. The thing is, I suppose, when you do a date at theirs, they think you're going to stay the night. And there's no way I'm doing any one night stands. That's one rule, girls, if you're watching, never, ever have sex on the first night. Would I ever do a date in the dark experience? Do you know what? Yes, don't knock it till you've tried it. Although thinking about it, what if you have to kiss the different guys and then one of them's such a good kisser and then when they turn the light on, you're like, bloody hell, what? Bleh. That's the trouble, isn't it? So it just goes to show it's not always about looks. Chemistry gets, a, gets you a lot further. I love chemistry. I love it that when you meet someone and like even if they just touch your knee or this is, must be a girl thing because I don't think men are like this. But like if you're sitting there and they just sort of go past and they sort of touch your leg. We're, in our heads we're like, oh, they just touched my leg. Or if a man's talking, they've got the hand on your leg like that and you get all like the goosebumps and oh my gosh, I love all that. When you get excited on a date Oh my god, it's oh my god, it's exciting. We need all these date ones. Come on, girls. We know we're like, I want to know what you guys think. I can always tell if a man can't kiss, there's no point going any further, in my experience. If they can't kiss, it's no good. Gone. Bye. See ya. Um, I've never been out for a guy who's been bald up on top, but I prefer a man to be hairless down there or nicely trimmed. I'm not having no hairy hairy growler down there, thanks. Blech. 
No way, who does that even these days? Really? So guys, based on the answers to the questions you've given me today, I would like to know if you answered below, if you think I'd be high maintenance, hard work, easy going, or just a nice girl that you could just chill out with and just have no problems with, let me know. So thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, do the like. If you subscribe it, subscribe. And then obviously, the more content I can give you, the more you can get to know about me. And I'm loving it. I'm loving being on YouTube, by the way. I'm absolutely loving it. So thanks for watching. Love you guys.